Hey everybody, it's me and I'm back from the dead. This is unbelievable. My tour solo is on pause because the Impractical Jokers national tour has started the arena tour. Tickets are on sale for the first leg of it right now at ImpracticalJokersLive.com. We're coming to Reading, Pennsylvania. We're coming to uh, Stony Brook. We're coming to Pittsburgh, Camden, New Jersey, Boston. We're coming to Charleston, South Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, Waterloo, New York, uh, Washington, D.C., Niagara Falls. Falls, Newark, Wallingford, Belmont Park. We're playing that UBS arena and the Prudential Arena in Jersey. Go Islander. God, Milwaukee, Rosemont, Seattle, Portland. I mean, guys, Utah, Denver, Arlington, Austin, Sugarland, Columbus, Cleveland, Detroit, Minneapolis, Des Moines, Kansas City. I'm getting tired. Nashville, Indianapolis, and St. Louis. That's just what's announced right now. And it's all on sale right now. We're revving up right now. The show's going to be a blast. We haven't been out in years. Hope to see you there in practicaljokerslive.com. Hey. Guess where I'm coming? Phoenix, January 26th to the 28th. House of Comedy Phoenix shows are all already almost sold out. My new hour is wild. I've been getting crazy on stage, so I think you want to see it. February 1st to 2nd, Cleveland, Ohio, Hilarities Comedy Club. Early show sold out. We just got the late. That's a Wednesday, Thursday, midweek Chrissy. Why not? Come have a midweek fun. What else is there to do in Cleveland? February 16th to the 17th, Stanford, Connecticut. There's a brand new club there called New York Comedy Club in Stanford, Connecticut. And my manager, the Italian woman, owns it. So I got roped into doing it. So it's going to be fun. I'm probably going to do every show drunk or high. So you're going to want to buy tickets to that and get your phones out. February 22nd, Vancouver, British Columbia. First time ever in Vancouver, Woovy. I'm opening up the JFL Just for Laughs Comedy Festival at the Vogue Theater. Low ticket count there. Um, and then I believe um, we are adding, we have added uh, February, 20, um, February 24th in Napa, February 25th in San Jose, and February 26th in Sacramento, California. Um, I believe those are the dates, but correct me if I'm wrong, but I am coming in that week, that last weekend in February to, uh, the second to last weekend, in, or no, I guess it is the last weekend in February. Yeah, the last weekend in February to San Jose, Napa, and Sacramento, christycomedy.com for Tiki Wikis, and then Florida at the end of March, and Austin in April, and Buffalo in May. I love you. I love cock. Don't be a flake, don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed, don't hesitate to say, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe. I like girls that wear Abercrombie and Fitch. I take her if I had one wish, but she's been gone since last, hey, babe, since last, hey, babe. Oh, hey, babe. How you doing? Good. I have a- Guests on guests. Yes, because we weren't, because Sal- there was a few weeks where he was dead. Like he actually died. I we died. Him. Eight then weeks. Then we brought him back to life. Wow. And that's why I want to have you come in yep. just in case. Yep. Because uh, if Sal died again, I want, to have, I want to have you in here. What about Joe? Oh, Joe's here? <laughs> <laughs> Joe. This is my f- fifth <laughs> podcast of today. I, I, I don't have too. much left to say. Yeah. <laughs> well, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Impossible. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm out. I'm out of steam. No, I know me too. So, I'm sitting so through this week. Go get too. Too. I just want to go eat. That's the secret we yeah. bought on Podcast 5. That's all I want to do is yeah, fucking I just go, go eat. eat dinner with you guys. I got to eat before 5.30 because it doesn't fit my fasting window if I eat after it. Girls got to eat. Girls Your fast eat. ends at 5.30? Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Yes, yesterday? That's a thing, right? Yes, today? Like, well, I started eating today at, at 12. I did a 22-hour fast yesterday because it was just so bad after the holidays. A 22-hour fast? What's so bad? What do you mean so bad? And how, what is so bad? I, I overeat. The way I know, Joe, what are you eating? What are you eating? That's okay, over- so, so new, uh, uh, New Year's Day. Yeah. Okay, so you were up at the... Uh, up, up, Castle. Up, uh, yeah. I had at Ohika yeah. Castle... New Year's Day or New Year's Eve is when you when well, you went New on. Year's Day technically it was two o'clock in the morning. This is how I started okay. my New Year's Day. You know, drinking, eating all New Year's Eve. You know, pies, cookies. But then I had from McDonald's Uber Eats, uh, two Big Macs, a filet of fish, two things of French fries, and a McFlurry. That's one order. That's one order. That's just what I for ate. you because I binge. The way, honestly, Joe, I, I know this, we we talked about this on whiskey ginger but the way that you say like when you drink and you want to have fun that's the way i get with eating and that's what i have to get under control and say i can't fucking do that you've told me you've (laughs) told me stories of like eating an entire large pizza in 10 minutes yeah i've done that i've done that Dude, so my like in my ten, dude. Minutes? I'm I, I, the way I. But eat how do you is, stay so thin? But then? I eat. <gasps> I inhale food when I eat anyway. It's like a habit of my whole my whole family eats so fat. But then what fast. do you do to balance that? Well, because you've never been heavy I've, as long as I. You, I you know, throw up. 
<laughs> yeah, that's Ari, really? Ari Shafir <laughs> told us that he's bulimic, that he th- makes himself puke. That I believe. Isn't Stop that wild? it. That his Ari, breath yeah. always smells. No. His breath does smell. Giveaway. And he's got no teeth, he's got no enamel on the front. No, no, no. Teeth. No, because he's eating yarmulkes all day. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know those candles, they got to eat each one. Yeah, and that's yeah. what it is. That's a, yeah. No, no honestly, but how do you I, stay so thin? Uh, because, I, because when I do that, it's few and far between, and I don't eat shit. I just don't eat shit during the day. But What's you your see, regular day? Like to this morning? Yeah, let's talk, take me through a regular day. Wake I up, try to wake up wife. and do, I try. Do yesterday, I, do yesterday. Well, but were you traveling? This is travel is tough. Okay. okay. But at home, yeah, tell me, wake up me. and I try to either go like stretch or I do stretch every day because I, when I broke my back, I know that sounds lame, but I stretch I every broke morning. It. He did. Crunch yeah, me. Yeah. I go, my legs don't go over my head. And then he, yeah, you yeah. know, yeah. Yeah. Well, then I was already there. I was like, go for it, yeah. daddy. Yeah. Uh, go for it. I'll just stretch. stretch. I'll either try to exercise in some way, either run or go lift. And do you then, fast? Do you not eat till like noon? No, no, no. It's funny. I'll eat in the morning if my body says I'm hungry. If mm. I'm not hungry when I first wake up, I won't eat. I'll right. eat after I work out. I'm not one of these people that's like, Anna, if I w- I'm hungry, I'll eat and wait and then what go to the gym. Eat, but though? what are you eating? Is what I'm Sometimes you eat overnight, o- overnight oats and granola. One of my favorite things is- uh, I love an overnight oats. I healthy. love overnight oats. Yeah, but, but, but for the most part, breakfast is my favorite meal. Favorite meal. I love breakfast. But my breakfast are like- of overnight oats versus oatmeal? Which was a joke Ted Alexandro had, which was very funny. Well, overnight oats is chia seeds. It's, it's chia pudding, right? Well, it's oatmeal, I thought. No, 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 no. O- 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 oats are oatmeal. Overnight oats is chia pudding. No, I thought overnight oats no, is oatmeal that you just put in the soak. fridge. Yeah. Yeah. So like I'll make steeps. overnight yes. oats. Oats. Yes. Uh, I'll make, I'll take Quaker State. Think what you have is chia. Actually. I have chia yeah, pudding. Yeah. You can have chia pudding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're having pudding. <laughs> I've had them both. Yeah. Yeah. I've but had that's them both. Good. You make it with almond milk and it's like a good yeah. in the morning. You want a little secret? I found that whole foods mush. It's called mush. I, know mush. I have you know mush. 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 Yep. I see. It's nice. It's a so, 200 so calorie or, treat. Or granola. With a lot of and I like. Uh, uh, I love yogurt in the morning. And then so you're also, not doing egg, bacon, like, egg, and cheese like on a roll. You're not doing yogurt. that. See, here's the thing. I like bacon. I love eggs. I just don't need the roll every day. So I just don't need it like that anymore. I'll just do scrambled eggs and bacon. I'll just do meat and eggs. But then will you eat bread at some point during the day, or you have like a light lunch, light dinner? Usually, you don't, don't eat, eat that much bread. You don't just don't need it. I mean, I, I look. I love it, but I just every time I think about it, I go like. I don't need a fucking. I don't need the sandwich. So I no, think yeah, sandwiches yeah. are good though. I, I, my they body are, took a I turn just, where eggs and all that shit in the morning just started really disagreeing with me. Like it's so greasy, it started getting a stomach ache, and yeah. I right. try to if I eat anything in the morning, I try to keep it to like fruit or. Like I'd something. rather have. But so you guys are that good? So you just eating overnight oats or chia? No, no, or, or, eggs. Like to, or, or, or eggs and yeah, like eggs and a meat. Bowl you of ever cereal? Avocado? Never, never bowl of cereal. Never bowl of cereal. Bowl of cereal to me is a late night. Come home from the clubs. I'm tired. Well, if I you want. eat a bowl of cereal, I mean, you're just you're eating sugar. I mean, it's all it's all sugar. No, nah, but all I'll get, we have those healthy bullshit cereals. Magic spoon. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, they're not a sponsor. Let them pay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Fuck they quit. You. They quit all of us. By the way, they're fucking everybody. Why? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you eat like kashi and shit like that. For no, cereal? no, no. I just mean like, just Cheerios is. You know what I mean? Just yeah, 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 yeah. Healthy right. cholesterol all right. levels. All right, all right, all right. I go to lunch now. Go do lunch. Yeah, what do you do for lunch? Sometimes I skip lunch. Whoa! Like because sometimes I'll have what such are you, a Japanese. Big, well, I'll have such a big meal in the morning, right? That I won't need lunch, and I'll have a couple of coffees, and that usually. Whoa, what, what's through. the big meal? You just said you might have some some chia. No, if I have granola and then I do, we do apples in a pan with yogurt. I'm all that stuff at apples once. In apples a in a pan. What does that mean? You put okay. So is it literally just put? Get a little bit of brown sugar in there. Wow. Caramelize some apples in a pan. Put them in there with granola and a big, huge scoop of peanut butter with yogurt. That's take, a healthy snack. Take a walk. Uh, it's delicious. That, that's it's healthy, so but it's deceivingly also loaded with fat and and calories. Yeah, but if you're but if you're if you're exercising at all, you're using those to your advantage. Okay. Fat and calories are not bad. Everyone's like fat. They're not bad. If you're using them, they're not bad. Right. right. If you're eating fats and not doing anything, particularly saturated fats, well, then yeah, they're going to. We, we have a big dinner up. usually, or you go light. You're a light eater. No, I, I like a good sized dinner. Like you'll eat, you'll eat, you'll go crazy at dinner. Steaks, chickens, anything, yeah, I, I anything, a lot of burger, I, fries. I, I, I eat almost exclusively at home. This is at my home, not on the road. Big proteins, so like chickens or steaks or meats, fish, whatever, and then three or four sides of like vegetables. Uh, mac and cheese. You'll get mac and cheese. No, that's you won't get the fatty stuff. I get stuff. it once in a while, but I don't get. That's not like what but I'm going to have. Like just potatoes that potatoes and vegetables on the side. You not, want a nice side? Yeah. You probably don't think of. But usually more vegetables than anything else. A salad, vegetables, meat, and a fish of some kind, and then yeah. maybe one little naughty boy thing. 
Wait, you'll go meat like what? and fish together? Meat, meat or fish. Meat oh, okay, fish. okay. What's the naughty boy thing? Con- con- yeah, like a dessert, it? a little naughty boy dessert. Like what? Yeah, you know, hold a little hold the cum. A little hold the cone. <laughs> okay, hold the cone. A little, a little cup of cum. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have dessert every day. You have it once a week, maybe. Uh, two, two, two to three times. A week. I have dessert like once a day. See, I my- just, I usually have it like after. I just, at, I, even if it's just having a cookie, I just there's something to having a sweet, sweet at the in end. my head after. No, so what I, I've been I usually that's what I want. Yeah, but, but I you just don't, go don't don't. don't my do daughter, that. my old my, Delilah, is on me now. She's got a thing. She's like only can only have sweets on Saturday, and she's on me like t- this morning when she left for school. She was like no sweets today. But see, Saturday. This, this is the difference. True. You have kids. We don't have kids. I, there is no sweets at my house. We don't just buy. Su- yeah, you have it's to buy all in my house. Yeah. for kids. We, there's no kids that's in my true. house. That's true. If it's in the house, I'm done. Yeah, it's that's, in the house. That's, I'm done. that's my whole you point. You want to know a nice side? Board, you probably, probably sleep on a nice dinner side or lunch side. You probably see. Let me guess. Cremini mushrooms. No, but Love that is Cremini good. Okay. I was gonna say farro. Farro. Here's yeah. my here's my beef Ooh, with farro. Yeah, it's and good, healthy. Right? Where's it from? Yeah. Where's it from? I don't. Where's farro from? I don't know. Yeah. Egypt. I don't know. That's why I don't trust it. I don't know where it's, it's from. I don't know joke. its background. That's a smart joke. It Where's Pharaoh really, from? It yeah, we got deserve it. more. I didn't get it. Well, I feel like you didn't really give it. You didn't give it anything. Okay, it's okay, good. Do it again. Explain it to me. You know where where's, Fa- wait, where's Pharaoh from? You weren't doing oh. a bit. Wait, when you said Pharaoh's from Egypt, you weren't joking. What do you mean? Stop it. A Pharaoh. Yeah, a pharaoh, like a king. Yeah, yeah. I said it's from Egypt. Yeah, I said that's yeah. a smarter joke than it than it got. Oh, my joke! I thought you were saying because where's no, it from? No, you. you the oh, play on right. words. Really? Pharaoh, I didn't make the joke because I thought it was too easy. It was too easy. Yeah, really? Nothing against you. I get I it. I thought it was. <laughs> listen, I thought it was pretty quick. Who's your favorite pharaoh? Let's do this on taste buds. <laughs> I'll go all day on King Tut. I thought it was pretty fair, pretty quick. I appreciate that. It was very good. Yeah, yeah. that's good, Joe. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, for, a, thanks for breaking it up. I love Farrell. They call me Farrell Fawcett. <laughs> uh, one more. Get one more. Okay. Um, um, what about Farrell oh, Munch? Hey, wait, what is love Farrell, Farrell though? What, what's up with you that? You want to hear a story about Farrell Munch? I'm Jay Farrell. I want to hit two. I, want, I, I was looking for music for my special, which is out right now. Cheeseburger on Netflix, available right now. No Great shit. Great title. Congrats. When did it come out? January 10th. I don't know when this comes yeah. out. Oh, oh, right, right. He okay. named his special after something he never eats. Cheeseburger. Yeah, cheeseburger. Yes. Like from that comic <laughs> yeah. in the 80s, right? It was hamburger. Hamburger. Oh, hamburger. Sorry. Uh, but I'll say this. Sorry. I'll give you a Faramont story because you okay. want to know real yeah. fast. I really like the song from Faramont that I used on tour called Simon Says. Dun, sure. Dun, That's dun, the dun, one. Dun. It's a great sure. song. Never heard. Get of. the so fuck up. You don't. He doesn't know that stuff. Simon says, "Get the fuck up." Throw you. He doesn't. He does. He's white. I swear. Girls, to rub on your titties. Yeah, fuck it. I said it. Rub on your titties. New York, New York City, City gritty baby, 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 yeah. Farrell fucking Munch and a damn thing changed. Yeah. So I, I, fuck, fuck, I, texted, I texted DJ Premier. Very cool that I have that ability. That's very cool. That's very And then cool. I said, I know you know him. Is there a way that you can connect him with our post producer? Because I did the special all on my own with my production guys. And with 800 pound, actually, with Schuler, who's the man who did Ari Shafir's. Mm-hmm. And I said, I have only so much mu- money for music, but I'll pay for it out of my pocket. And Premier got back to me in like five seconds, which one of the coolest fucking dudes of all time. And also mind boggling as a kid that I'm texting with I know. a hero of yeah, mine. I know. It means nothing to some people, but. He's the greatest of all time. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Anyway. And I said, uh, you know, you know, what is, what would this cost or whatever? And Farrell got back to him. Farrell Mont said, um, that original dun, 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 dun is from Godzilla one. Mm-hmm. And it's Warner Brothers or whoever owned the rights to that. They've been in a forever legal battle because that was never cleared 20 years ago. And so he has the mechanics of the song. They're legally his, but can't license it out to anybody. Yeah. Wow. The, 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 he's like, they will sue you. Like Warner's, or, I don't remember who, who, who owned who owned the I think Warner Music. Yeah. And he was like, they'll sue you. So he's like, all my love, I appreciate it, but shout out to DJ Premier for helping me out. And then he helped me get nice. RJD2. RJD2, DJ Premier, you, you RJD2 with- has an original song on my special to That's open it. That's very cool. Which That's I thought was sick. fucking so dope. That's Amazing. Both because of DJ Premier, but, but Pharaoh, I guess, was saying, he was like, I wish I could help, but good, f- no fucking That's way. That's very cool. But I would have loved to get sued from Warner Music. Would have been kind of tight. Just to Amazing. see what it would I'm trying to figure out what to put in a, I want to get a, a good song for the special too, even if I have to pay for it or ask for a favor. You, you know, gotta pay. You gotta go pay. Wu Tang. I know some of those guys. Or there's this boot. Do you know the Budos band? They, my boys from Staten Island. I'm just trying yeah. to think. You know who I recently? Uh, I don't know if you would know who this is, but you know Prince Paul. Yeah, oh, yeah I love Prince Paul. Prince Paul recently befriended him. He's a wonderful man. Prince Paul is your buddy? Yes. So good. And he asked me to be on, uh, do skits on his new album. And what? I was like, I can't believe it. You guys and, are awesome. And, he, and, I, and then he said, uh, 
how much do you want? And I said, all of it. I mean, don't be, don't be ridiculous. I, 500 grand. I'll, I'll do it for, I'll do it. It's an honor to do it. And then he gave me the assignment. And then I was like, how long do I have? And he said, two weeks. I was like, perfect. Cause there's a lot of riffing and writing and stuff. And uh, then he's like, the next day he's like, I need it actually by tomorrow morning. I just got word from the, and I, I was on tour and I had shows. I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to get it to you. I felt so bad, but he brought his family out and he came to my show in Atlanta. Shout out Prince Paul. I'm you let Prince Paul. Paul. But, but the moral of the story is you let Prince Paul down. It's, 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 yeah. Yes. That's, right. that's <laughs> exactly right. You yes. should have Paul Abdul do something on your album. Oh yeah. That'd be cool. Imagine. I he's wasn't big, as good as the Pharaoh stuff. He's a, that no, he's, like a, he's a fan of Paul Abdul. Uh, Paul Abdul's a fan of his too, and he was in his I'm movie. Fr- friends with him. Friends with Paul yeah. Abdul. Oh, I got a story, but I... I uh, Please. Do it. A Paul Abdul story? Yeah, well, it's, fine. It it's fine. It's fine. Well, okay. Paul so, Abdul came to the comedy store. Okay, wait. Is wait, this wait, another wait, Pharaoh wait, joke? Let me know where this is going to go. Yeah. Um, if it, is, it, is, it, is it not a good look? Hold on. Just look up this guy real fast. Look up Guam, G-U-A-M, like the country. Look up Guam Comedy Store. You wouldn't believe this. Oh, fuck, this is such a inside baseball. That's that's him. Go images and see. That's him, but go images because you might be able to see. He's bald, but he has a ponytail. He's a rat tail. Oh okay. yeah, I've seen this guy before. Yeah, he works the door. He's a store. He's a store guy. Oh, yeah, I've seen this guy. Guam Felix. <laughs> so, so. Nice humble picture. Is that picture. him in the Game of Thrones? Yeah, okay. as fast as I can about nice this humble guy. picture. This motherfucker, Paul Adul showed up to the comedy store, blacked out. And loved him because he was security helping her get to a seat. And she was all over him. She was like obsessed with him, kept rubbing his head and kissing his forehead. I love it. And then at some point at the end of the night, gives him her phone number and starts kissing Guam in the parking lot. You can't, I don't know who the guy is in New York. That is, I don't know who the New York guy is, but in LA, it was magically hilarious. Our guys is Steve Fabrican outside <laughs> Steve. I was going to say, yeah. It, it would have been Big Steve at, this, at the cellar. Oh, Big Steve. But, he's the way as well. yeah. but Guam is the man. But, yeah. Rest in peace. But she, Rest gave, in peace. she gave him the number and they, she was making out with him and I thought one day thing or whatever. One, She was drunk with friends having a good time. Yeah, she has fun. She's oh, a human no, being. Oh, no, dude. They were texting for days on end afterwards. Oh, she's cool like that. She, she's, she is, she is she's cool very, like that. very down to earth, very accessible. I mean, like, Paul Abdul's out there turning it up. I'm talking about quitting drinking. Yeah, what come on, man. What are you doing? Text, you start texting with Paul. Abdu- Shave your head and just put a ponytail out there. Guam <laughs> Felix. Um, and that's our boy Rick Ingram down there on the left who opens up for uh, Chappelle and, or opens up for Rock now. Ooh. That's wild, man. I'm so proud of that guy. For yeah. he, he was a comedy store guy for years and then finally somebody gave him some re- recognition. And Rock, I think, saw him, loved him, and then he only does crowd work. Rick Ingram only does crowd work. 100% exclusive? Well, I mean, you know, I, I don't know his art, but you know what I mean? Like, I, I can't speak on what he's... But... His his skill set is crowd working, and they have a camera because they play huge stadiums or whatever. That's him. Yeah, that's Rick. Okay, and they they have a camera like you. If you go on their Instagrams, he's on all these pictures with them playing arenas. So they have a camera. Follow him with the front row to show the people, that's so cool. that everyone else in the arena can he see. He must annihilate. You have no fucking idea. He must. I'm annihilate. not kidding. He is the way that like East Coast guys like. Uh, Big J crowd work, you know? Right. Yeah. The, 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 he, he, this guy's a fucking murderer. Yeah, that's a good analogy. The way that people like that. What? No, am I wrong? Yeah. Just, <laughs> am I wrong? No, just fucking around. Oh. Like, I, I, for, big, for me, I, Big J is the crowd no, work. No, he's the king. There's nothing right. in front no, of No, no, Joe, go ahead and personal gripe. Go ahead and say what you want to no, say. No, Jay's You don't like best. chain wallets? Go ahead and I say was it. Making fun <laughs> of, I was making fun of the needless analogy when you're like, guys, you know crowd work. <laughs> like, like, let, let's he say said, it was is big, he kill? And I uh, said, in the way kill. that fucking Big J does. <laughs> in East Coast terms, you know, you've seen maybe a Big J. Well, here's why I verified work. it. Because every it dickhead cunt online is putting up crowd work reels now. So it's lost any of I don't think Jay's a dickhead cunt. You think that about Jay? Nice That's try. Terrible. Nice clip try. it, clip it, clip it. That's a nice try, alcoholic. But here's yeah, the deal. You don't burn material. <laughs> so you Ask DJ up. Premier what he thinks. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, Premier's a fan of Jay's. He I'm really is. He really is. They're friendly from Syria. Do you so like kidding. Joe DeRosa? He doesn't know who I am. He's, I know. That's why I'm going to ask him. You fucking no. dick. <laughs> he's, he's my no, favorite I mean, producer what I ever. Mean is, what I mean is. Yeah, go ahead. Really? Respected Jay actor. Premier's turning over in his grave. Premier's my favorite producer of all time. All I right. think he's the greatest of all time. Next to Dr. It's, 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 it's Premier. Well, now, what do you think about Dre. Pharrell? You know, he's highly regarded as like one of the top, I, top, I top, think top, top. Pharrell is tremendous, but he's not anywhere near my favorite hip hop producer of all time. No, I know. It's an opinion. I know people, you know, I, I, look, I'm a DJ Premier guy, but that's only because the way I grew up with his I music. hear a Premier beat. First of all, you can spot a Premier beat yeah, from, from a, a mile, mile away. away. Yeah. It's yeah. just well, you the can hear best. It. Yeah. yeah, hear it. Uh, and, and, and nothing <laughs> excites me more than the, the DJ Premier beats. Every single beat, he just, he produces for all the right people. He's the best. He's the greatest that's ever he done. He is the greatest. He's the greatest, you know? I would say rivaled only by Dr. Dre. 
No. I think Dr. Dre is not even close to DJ Premier, in my opinion. What about Funk Master Flex? DJ, Dr. Dre did more, of, more, more stuff Cypher for sounds. himself. Doesn't produce, really. I don't, I what think is a producer? A, I, I don't think, think I know what that at, is. If you I look at they, Dre's they, catalog... They, they, yeah, and the it's weight. incredible. Decide, like, Still, I think the premier. NWA stuff alone. What's just the, the best? Pro- uh, yeah, the production value of it. You know what I mean? So it's like Diplo a producer. All right. Taught a guy how to rap. Like, huh? Easy E couldn't rap. You never show. You never know about this. Yeah, I know the police, brother. Taught I know a guy the whole how to story. Rap. Well, uh, uh, I know the whole story. This is good for the show. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you guys are doing that, and I'm talking to him not even with the mic up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what a music producer does. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. I don't know. Well, in hip hop, the producer the usually instru- makes the beats. Right. That's what it means. So, in like, hip-hop. who produces like uh, Jay Z's music or Kanye West's music? Who's well, the producer? Kanye, Kanye, Kanye used West produced a lot of Jay Z's music. Yeah. But then, who produces for Kanye? Kanye. Kanye. He just does. Yeah. He so makes Kanye's his own a guy beats. does everything. Kanye's yeah. He's done talent, a little bit too much lately. Kanye, right. the problem. Kanye's talent is off the chain, which is why his success was off the chain. Kanye is one of the greatest. Which is why music. I think his his mental yeah. state yeah, 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 was allowed to progress to the place. He's one of the greatest musical. Entities in the history of human life, in right. my opinion. Right. He's, he's, truly he's done. He, he is a brilliant musician and rapper. And well, he's, the, he's the new. He's the, the rapper new, went. He went yeah, missing. He's been, he's been missing. You don't know about this. He's, he's been the new Richard now. Wagner for days. He's still, no, but he's still, he's still is. missing. Yeah. And is it like? Are they? Do they feel the people around? Him, oh, he's just off. He wanted. Somebody's got to know where he, he wants to be off the grid. Yeah. Or you, is there fear? Have you seen his swastika merch? If you, he has swastika merch. No, he doesn't. Show it. So Kanye, Kanye Swastika merch. merch on sale. No, no, he doesn't. The clip no, he doesn't. Of him? Yes, he does. No, he does not. That's him I swear to God. I swear. To God. <laughs> you Did you look. see a clip of him showing yeah, up? I, at the I'm not going to believe you. There sure is a lot of Kanye West inspired Nazi merch online, baby. He's got some Swast merch out there. Did you see him showing up at the fashion show on Instagram? No. no. Oh yeah, yeah. White Lives Matter. No, no, no. Like the other day, he uh, showed up at a, a runway thing, and the clothing line was like, "Oh yeah, that's Kanye wearing our stuff." It's like you guys are this desperate. Anyway, his fucking lip was bleeding. He had a mouth guard in, like a boxing mouth guard. Well, he broke his jaw. And when he sat down, somebody ne- <laughs> somebody did. next to him said something, and he literally goes like this. He goes, and like he, he, you were like, "Dude, this guy." I hope he's gone. okay. Like he's he's off the reservation. Oh, I mean, this gone. is what happens with the booster. <laughs> no, dude. Which one is it? I know. I hate the, the third, fourth one. But is is the <laughs> look, is that what you mean? About, yes. Yeah. Look at that. He, yeah. Is is the narr- yeah? That's the mount. Yeah. Is there. the concern around this that he's that looks like a cold possibly sore. like in danger or endangered? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I, or he, it's not just like oh, he just he did he's Kanye doing Kanye. He's probably off in a remote island. Oh, brother. I think people are scared he that he's is, gone. He is. But he's he, got a Balenciaga mouthpiece. It said he Balenciaga. is out of his mind. Like, like that's why it bothers me. Kanye West's new song about DJ Khaled. Can I, can I about tell DJ you? Khaled. Can I tell you what I think it is? <laughs> yeah, well, I what? get it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Have you met his kid? It's, it's yeah, I, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Really? No, Just I have unbearable? No idea. I have no idea. I think this is Kanye doing a, another bit. I think he's gone missing doing a bit. Uh, dude. Yes. 100%. There's dude. a part of me that believes that. No. He's <laughs> that was, was that, that? So was that, was that yeah. pimps had it? They make him Hitler. <laughs> yeah. I kind of don't believe it was actually him on Alex Jones personally, but really, that's insane. It didn't really sound like him. Yes, it did. I didn't think it did. It sounded exactly like him. Sound nothing like him. You don't know. Sound nothing like him. Yeah. What What's with ask? the CJ from here? What he thinks? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Ooh, smart. Wow. Against LGBTQ people? That's what it says? What was it? What did he say Why? about them? Says, uh, I'm going to still call you him. <laughs> I <laughs> never call you they. <laughs> Here's Kanye my main least. question about the, about the Alex Jones appearance. Why did he cover his face like that the whole time? Because You're talking he's about memorable. it, man. It's, it's an memorable. Talk, it's a, we're talking about it. This guy, but, what are you, well, bad? you're yeah. bad at marketing. He's memorable. He's, there's definitely oh. a little bit of a Tony Clifton thing with all this, but I, I don't know. He's fucked up, man. He's, I I do you think you think Kanye West is Bob Zamuda? Yes, Bob, Bob Zamuda is Kanye West. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> he's that he's is clearly and then, <laughs> Netanyahu. That's so oh fucking. My God. <laughs> bro, <laughs> how is that not? That is Wait, so what? funny. Wait, what? He's saying Netanyahu. Netanyahu. What's Netanyahu? Mean? Oh Netanyahu, my God! The Israeli Prime Minister is saying he's oh. got a net. Don't make another. Yuho. Don't make another DJ Premier joke again now. If you don't know Dude, Netanyahu, well, that's is. what he's saying there. That's very funny. No, he didn't. I think that was no. Just, it was, that was Photoshop. Photoshop. Oh, that's real. Nah, huh? 
He put a Yuhu on the. Oh, that's that's a Netanyahu bet. I forgot. It's a good bet. It's a good bet. Yeah. Wait, he, put, he pulls out a Yuhu on Alex Jones? Yes. Yeah. You know, it does have nice and a riboflavin uh, where all the drinks don't. <laughs> That's true. Yes. Yeah. That is true. You remember those commercials? It's a chocolate yes. drink. Not a chocolate milk, it's a chocolate drink. Yeah. yeah. My kids love you. Really? I, think it's I haven't had a you in 20 years. But kids, when you're the kids, they get the you I can't you believe you those, can find you them. I those thought they were gone. Those I do. commercials? Yeah. Yeah. They go riboflavin and they go, you. Yeah. yeah. Niacin. You. Yeah. Well, they didn't say it like that. I think it's just. It was meant. close, though. You. You. Yeah. Tell me. What's that? piece of me thinks. Yeah. It's a bit. The whole thing's it's, a bit. It's, I think he thinks it's some great, grand, insane bit. I think he mm. thinks that, but I think that's being fueled by a yes, major chemical Yes, 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 yes. I'm not saying it hasn't yes. gone too far, and I, I'm not saying it's not insane. I'm saying I think he thought he was sure. going to do a, a gr- an insane bit, and this was going to be performance art for him. I think he thought, I can turn myself into the most hated man in the world. Watch. Watch me fucking do it. And right. everybody guy, will know. The guy was... I, I, I keep citing this, and it's like, it's like... It just kills me. It's like... I... I I've been saying he's an asshole for so fucking long now. I mean, he he was six years ago was screaming, I am Shakespeare in public. Yeah. And everybody was like, you go, Kanye. And it's like, he's an asshole. Like, he's a fu- he's off his fucking rocker, man. Well, he went. He could be Shakespeare, though. He could be. Like, how could he not be? He's he's as close as we're going to get. But yeah. Like, what is that, pimp? I'm not saying because Shakespeare's so good. I'm just saying the arrogance of it, and you're screaming it in a room, and everybody's going. Yeah, but, oh, hip, yeah, but part yeah, of yeah. hip hop culture he is called, what? That he called Shane. Oh, that, yeah. Did you hear that? That he called. That he texted Shane Gillis. <laughs> he got, he yeah. Texted. Well, how did he have his number? Bro, well, it's just who now? Shane told the story, but he. Te- I mean, he texted Shane out of nowhere and wanted him to do like a sketch or something. See, I think he wants to be a comedian. He thinks this is a perform. I'm telling you, dude. He's talking to comedians. He's he he is he. Uh, he fucking went to Anthony Jeselnik's show the week before he did this. Do you know this story? No. Jeselnik talked He's about it. He's been quoting Owen Benjamin. I think he even said something about Tim he Dillon. Did. Dude, he went to fucking Jeselnik's show in like Oxnard or some shit. Anthony talks about it on his podcast and was like, I mean, bad time to learn a new fan. You know, like, right. well, how the fuck did this all... He... I'm a, that's what I'm saying. How I'm not saying that? it's too far. How does, oh, does Jeselnik handle that? He didn't even know he was in the crowd. He knew after the fact. Someone was like, Kanye West came there. He's like, Kanye yeah. West came to My see My openers, you. Kelly Ryan, text uh, Liz as we're on our way home and says, holy shit, because the sound guy told me that uh, Kanye was here on Friday. And I'm like, I don't believe you. And then he goes on a podcast. Yeah, I think it's the Lex Friedman podcast. That's at least the host. Which yes. I've never heard of. I listen in like six and a half minutes in. I see, I see this clip. I was in Oxnard last night to see Anthony Jeselnik. I'm doing interviews and I'm thinking I'm funny. And his opening joke was so high level I realized that I wasn't funny. I realized that this dude is a professional at what no he does. Shit. What do you he got dropped by everyone except Adidas, and then he does this interview where he gives me my flowers, and Adidas was like, that's too much. You can't say the anti-Semitic stuff. We're Adidas. We can handle it. We're old school German, but giving Justin like his flowers, like you got to go. Flowers. It would be it's like annoying. if someone was like, Anthony hey, Greg, then. someone just uh, called you. What does mean? Like give him his props? props yeah. yeah, it's like, it's yeah. like, it's like show, show love. Yeah. Show got love. It, got it, got I love Justin, by the way. But, 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 <laughs> I just don't like that term. I know. I'm going to tell him you said what? that. Kanye, well, Kanye, Kanye, here. Kanye was like, wow, a misdirect joke. I never thought <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know what's so nuts, though, is that I, I'm telling you, this to me was partial proof that this dude wants to be a comic and thinks, fuck if right. I do some elaborate, insane... So, the, so again, we're back to Bob Zamuda he's, world. You know what it is? No, but Bob Zamuda was different. You know but I'm saying no. he's... D- he you saw T.I. do it. Huh? T.I. 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 led by example. You're saying he could be doing no. a, an Andy Kaufman. I think, but this is this is levels above. But, but my point is... Zamuda's is, whole thing was... Zamuda, literally what you said, right? Yes, Hold yes, on. yes Literally yes, you yes. said, <laughs> becoming the most hated man in the world. That was what Andy Kaufman's gag was with the wrestling women I know, thing. but there was, there, was, there, was a, there was an irony to it that was really intelligent. That when he was like... When he was doing this like, no woman can beat me. It was joking about the idea of a guy saying women can't beat men. That was... Sure. He's subversive. Right. This is not subversive. He's doing this thinking... I can put together... I know what you're saying, Joe. I'm just yeah. saying, this is him thinking, I'm going to be the greatest comedian alive. I can fool the world, in my opinion. I think he thinks... Right, we're saying the same the thing, though. No, Andy did it with Bob. That was more like... 
I think that was inside Dude, they baseball. Went to, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. All, the only difference in what we're saying is, is you're saying Andy Kaufman was good at it and Bob's mood, I mean, and um, uh, Kanye West isn't. That's the only difference. No, actually, Kanye turned out to be really they, good at it. Well, well, fucking, but they were <laughs> disappearing. Andy Kaufman, when he was doing that whole women thing, dude, he was losing fans and shit. People were like, dude, you're going too far. This is fucked up. I know, like, but his, his, his fame was also relative. He wasn't, he wasn't that famous. This I, guy is a global phenomenon prior to trying a bit like this. You can have a, a curb Yes, that we that oh, we've that? seen bits of, that was from like you, fifteen years no, no, no. ago. No, no, I I'm a I feel like I'm agreeing with we you, are, but, but, but you're but disagreeing I, with But me. I think they're two different things. I think what you're saying is like Andy did it as a piece of like art. I think this guy thinks it, it is proof that he is the greatest comedian. I, no, alive. no, no, no. I, right? Look, I, I see don't what you know. Mean. I, I don't you know mean. if he's doing it or not doing it. My point is this: I would not be surprised if. After seeing him say those things, he is trying to do some Andy Kaufman esque sure. type whatever. Uh, okay, okay, we're saying because yeah, I know, because I know. he don't forget this is the guy that wears the light White Lives Matter shirt. Uh, he's the guy Which that you wears, can buy right now at Chrissy Chaos. Uh, Christy right. Comedy. Christy Comedy. Comedy. Wore, remember when he wore hospital scrubs and yes. said this is like the new whatever. He does a lot of shit where he's like, what about his song that said scoopity poop, scoopity poop? <laughs> I love that. Scoopity. Song. I know. It was good. But, but my good point, song. I, that I thought I, he said, I'm going to put out a song yeah. called scoopity poop, right. and people are going to dance to it and buy it, and I'm going to prove to you that I could do whatever the fuck I want. I could put out what? Vessi sneakers, the rubber shoes that we all love. They literally are waterproof, non water resistant. They're awesome. I love Vessi shoes. They're the only rubbers I wear. The shoes are game changers, okay? They make shoes that literally your feet never get wet. They're waterproof. Um, and the Vessi Cloudburst, that's the best shoe to have in the winter. It's got the rubber winter boot built into a sneaker. I mean, that's all I've been looking for is how do I get a sneaker boot? Vessi has it, and it's waterproof. It's got a super soft-knit material that keeps your feet warm in the cold but cool in the warmer months, and it doesn't feel like it should be waterproof, but baby, it is. I've had my kids pour their apple juice in them, and my feet still stay dry. <laughs> now, right now, we're going to give you... Listen, you know, here at Hey Babe, we're always giving you offers. So, Vessi, they're my go-to shoes by the door, and all you got to do right now, if you want to get your a nice discount on a pair of Vessi shoes, go to Vessi.com. That's V-E-S-S-I dot com slash Hey Babe. 15% off your entire order. Vessi.com slash Hey Babe. 15% off your entire order at Vessi.com. It's awesome. Go get them. Hello Fresh, America's number one meal kit at Hey Babe. We talk about it every week because we love it so much. I use it, Sal uses it. We cook with it with our families. It is awesome and it is 25% cheaper than takeout. It's they got uh, they got smart they got smart recipes, carb smart recipes, high protein. They got this thing which I love especially for football season, Homegate. It's like um, uh, an assortment of snacks, appetizers, and shareable sweets available at the HelloFresh market. And you could treat your friends to baby back ribs, chocolate chip brownies, and everything in between. That's awesome, that home gate thing. Uh, I think I'm getting that. I hope, hopefully I'm getting that HelloFresh. I want the home gate. Um, if not, I'll just buy it. I don't care because guess what? Me and Sal talk about this every week. We don't understand how this company even makes money because they give away so much stuff for free. Listen to this deal. If you go to HelloFresh.com slash HeyBabe21 and use the code HeyBabe21, you're going to get 21 free meals plus free shipping. Do you understand what I just said? HelloFresh.com slash HeyBabe21. Use the code HeyBabe21. 21 free meals plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. DraftKings, baby. Football season, anytime it's sports, which is 12 months a year. DraftKings is my go-to. Of course, the NFL playoff action is continuing. Go G-Men. We're one step closer to the Super Bowl. One step closer to Super Bowl 57. And for the NFL divisional round, which is this weekend, check out DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. New customers can bet just $5 and get 200 in free bets instantly. Okay, $5, 200 in free bets instantly. All you have to do is download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code HEYBABE. New customers can bet $5 on the NFL division around and get 200 in free bets instantly only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code HEYBABE. 
Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for yeah, details. Got, got, yeah. got it. Got it. Got it. That's why he did that because he wanted the thing to bang. But he still, he still, he still did, made a bang. He still called it. Scooby Poop was still good. <laughs> you know, like, that, I never even heard that of that it. Is genius. That's genius. That he didn't just put the beat out over a verse. Yeah. Right. He literally put the beat out over a re- repeating scoopity poop. I think we're saying the same thing too. I understand what you're saying. My, I'm just, I just know that like, <laughs> look, and this is Kanye doing Kirby enthusiasm stuff in a mask from 15 years ago. So this is what he thinks is funny. Andrew's right. This is just what he thinks bits are. I think he yeah. thinks these are bits. And That's why I'm saying him wearing the mask on Alex Jones is something, or he's not even behind the mask on Alex Jones could be something. I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah, I, yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. We're not going to, it's not going to get to, like, it's not going to become taste buds. <laughs> Let me ask disagree. you this. Let me ask you this. <laughs> if you were sober, you're sober, right? I Let's forgot. Say- I forgot this was hey baby. I know. I thought we were on his show. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do, let. If you're sober, right? Let's say you're sober ten years, right? Fully sober from everything, and then accidentally, accidentally, you suck a dick. You suck a dick. No, yeah. accidentally, you eat um, a chocolate edible, mm-hmm. right? You eat. It was just in your fridge, and you accidentally ate this chocolate edible. Did you break your sobriety, and do you have to go all the way back to square no, one? No, no, no. You don't think so? No. no. It's, if you were fooled into something? Fooled. Because I've had friends who've said that they've accidentally had something with alcohol in it, and they didn't know. And, and that doesn't change their sobriety. No. They... they cause, yeah, they, you they, only break your sobriety if you fall off the wagon. You choose to do it. You, you know? have to... Oh, it has to be a choice. It's a choice. So if you act, or if you got... Let's say you got dosed, and the, the high was so strong that you were like, fuck it. Well, then, yeah. And then you, and then you, it goes into a two week binge. Well, yeah, that's a different story. But you yeah, know. because because now my friend who this happened to, he's like, I now that I got high, I just I want to start drinking again. Oh, well, and that's bad. That's oh, well, that's bad. But he hasn't. But he's like, I just want to. That, you, you gotta yeah, but that's you. not a break of sobriety. That's just a. Oh, because he's convinced himself he that broke happens his to people when already. they they get like Percocets because they have an operation or something and they go home. That's and they, always a tough thing for people that are sober off. that yeah. have to like take medication for like a surgery or something. Yeah, that's what do I, one of my cousins is allergic to penicillin. That's it, dude. You get an infection, you're just screwed. You can't be allergic to penicillin. What What's, is there's no alternative for him? They are, but they, they don't are, work as well. They, don't they work, suck. Yeah. They're pretty weak. The, the 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 other ones they absolutely I do want to suck. Say, I do want to give a shout out real fast to Nick Cannon for his twelfth baby. Nick, congrats. Thank, uh, you he's did, got the does? He's yeah, got the, and he, he's got vasectomy does. said, my body, my choice. I support you on that, I support Nick. It. Go ahead, Nick, baby. I support you, Nick. He's getting a vasectomy. He's not. He's saying, my no, body, no, my no, choice. No. He scoffs at he's it. He's not doing it. He would never. 12 If you kids. could kill one first, who would you kill first? Andy Cohen or Anderson Cooper? <laughs> who would you kill first? Sal? <laughs> Zoom in pa- tight. Just pass those questions off to someone else. <laughs> Sal? Um, yeah, I'm, saying, I'm not saying because you dislike him. Just, you know, who would you rather have? Well, Anderson, I've been on. I've been on watching. Let's do Sophie's ha- choice. Let's do fuck, Mary, kill, Anderson Cooper, Nick Cannon, and right. this will make it even more powerful. Okay. Well, I, 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 I have was. I've been on what's watch what happens live, Andy's show. Okay. Uh, I've never met the other two guys, uh, so I guess th- that means nothing. This is an uh, easy one, though. I, th- I think I was the was bartender. It? I was, did that. What did you say, Joe? Watch what happens. This live. is an easy one, I think. We bar- I bartend and I watch what happens. Yeah, I, I, I feel would like that's marry. A few gay guys, we do that. Yeah, we do that. I would yeah. marry Anderson Cooper. Absolutely, you marry the. Coop. He seems like yeah. He seems Big like someone Cooper. I'd settle down with. You marry Coop. You fuck Nick Cannon. No. You don't fuck Nick Cannon. You don't think he's got a pipe? You don't think he's got? You no. don't think you he, fuck Andy Cohen? Yeah, but Andy actually, Cohen's a party. I don't want the pipe. Actually, and Andy Cohen's annoying to have sex with. Mm. Didn't tell him, Chris. Yeah. He's good. Yeah, he's Nick so annoying. He makes it all about him. He, no, Nick just makes it about you. He's from St. Louis. He just talks to me about the Cardinals. I'm like, just shut up. <laughs> I'm not looking to get pregnant with Cannon's kid. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, make him pull out. Leave Don't it do in. That. Nikki, leave it in. <laughs> all right. I mean, how, is, how can you have FaceTime, the necessary FaceTime with a dozen children and that kind of schedule? He's like a Ryan Literally Seacrest. on FaceTime. Texting. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, it, I don't think, I think you that- have, You have two daughters. Two daughters. And you have- And a stepson. And, you're, and a stepson. And you have, you're busy with work. He's next level. He's on like 15 shows. Right. Right? right. And he has, he has six, 600% more kids than you. Yes. Yeah. But he I, has the financial ability to continuously I get think, on a jet and go home. I okay. think Wherever what he his, is. I think what his- what he feels, I think is, and this is just one way to do this, is he feels his- Part of him being alive and a human and his experience here on earth is to spread his seed, procreate, procreate, and it's up to the mother 
to kind of raise the child and do that. And he'll be there financially support, but he knows that he cannot give the time and energy. Well, obviously, he's worked he out cannot. a deal because they don't get, they, it's, there's plenty. Of, it's, and nobody's mad at him. None of his baby mamas are mad at him. <laughs> how, many, how many moms is it? I think it was like. Is there any of them Mariah's? Mariah's got yeah, two. Mariah's got two. I didn't know where I had two. Beautiful kids. Yeah, they're all good looking. Well, he's a good looking guy. And every every woman he's with is good looking. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, like, what the just, fuck? Yeah, easy these, math. He's just pumping out good looking people. Yeah, he's making beautiful people for the future. Yeah. Right. So what, what are we mad at? Do you what know I would, like, what, what are we I mad would at? like to see, if hot I'm guy being honest with kids, you, good. what I would like to see from Nick Cannon, if I'm just being honest, is a little diversity in his baby mamas. Yeah. I don't see enough diversity. <gasps> in 2023. I don't see, I don't see Asian. Yeah, like, like, what about someone like that? What about Ukraine? Do you stand with Ukraine? Stay, yes or no? I say stay black, Nick. Do what you're doing. <laughs> Fuck those white people. That's it. Trash. Um, really? What? Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's, my, Why? My, my sister got people. married on uh, Halloween and uh, they got made up like that. I think it's pretty cool. Like so it. you don't like his sister then? In her you don't like the movie Coco? Coco was a great movie. Coco nah, was so it's, it's good. That's the best one. Artwork aesthetic. I don't care for it. Personally. What's your favorite artwork <laughs> aesthetic? I don't know, to be honest. I, to have a, I don't even know if it's my least favorite. I'm just not a big fan. This guy's a... Uh, Contrarian? Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. I just don't... I'm not, I'm not into it. It's like not scary skeletons. I don't right. like it. I like a scary skeleton. Like <laughs> <laughs> By the way, speaking of scary, you, you, know what, you know what the two scariest movies of all time are, and I've watched them both this weekend? Smile. And, and White Chicks. And White Chicks, yes. Yeah. Smile <laughs> and Hereditary. The movie oh, Hereditary, Hereditary was scary. You pussy. I watched them both with my kids. It. it was scary. You watched those you know, with your kids? My daughter, that's what she likes to watch. So tell fucking... me if I should watch Smile. Was it good? Yes, Smile I heard is, it was it's so good. very scary. I heard it was good, but I, I went to put it on the other night, and my lady, just, she just won't watch it. She's it's like, terrifying. I cannot watch it. See, See, stuff, stuff like this is no, terrifying. It's, it's you and you thought it was stupid? It's 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 It's... No, no. Smile was great. I thought Smile was was a great, solid horror. It's movie. worth a watch. Yes, Her, yes. Hereditary has a few scares. I've heard it sucks. Good, so, could you watch Smile, Joe? Could you could you watch Smile alone in a house by yourself with the lights off? That's where I he watched lives. it alone in the movies by myself. It yeah. doesn't freak you out. Not not literally not even a tiny bit. See, like I watch Smile, I could go to sleep to that movie if it wasn't for the loud noises. Right. I'm dead serious. I know what you mean because it's 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 a toss up for me. If something's really going to get under my skin or not, sometimes you ever you ever on the road at the, in the hotel and like sometimes I I will leave the TV on. I always do that because I need I a little to. light in there. I get a yeah. little spook turning it pitch black. I can't. I always place. see a figure. Yeah. Yes. Smile with smile and the same as Hereditary, but more with smile. We watched that movie with my family. I wouldn't let my daughter watch. My kids. Be, we sleep go to on sleep. the upstairs. Uh, oh, uh, upstairs. The way he lives. Is Delilah. Insane. My daughter asked for water two nights in a row, quite dying of thirst. I would not go down to the kitchen and get her because I was terrified I was going to see this. <laughs> oh, bitch. I thought you were going to say your daughter like wanted nope. you to come. What? Jasmine had to go do it. Jasmine Stop had to it. put down our crying one year old, get her to sleep, and Chris. then I made my daughter wait for water because I was paralyzed with fear getting out of that damn bed. Chris. Is that I would scary? Not go down. Yeah. Just drink I out said, of the sink. I said, I, "What's what I said? I said, Delilah, I can put your mouth over the sink. I'm not going down the stairs." She was like, I need to drink it out of a cup. I was like, well, then tell the girl from Smile that. I'm not going down there. <laughs> you, it really? was that scary. For me, it freaks me. I, what happens is, is when I watch a movie like this, it becomes a reality to me, and I start to see and feel these people. You sound like on, Kanye. Dude, have yeah. you have You're you deranged, seen, dude. What's the matter with doing you? This podcast have now? you ever seen It Follows? Oh, yeah. yeah. What's It Follows? That's a good horror movie. That's, That's a good, good one. Is it, like, It Follows. It'll IT scare you follows. too much, yeah. but it's going to scare you too much. But, what, but I'm not <laughs> scared of like demons and ghoul like that's not that what are you scared what of? the fuck was smile that well, was smile it. was a demon but it's because it's like i was getting the impression it follows is very much like smile where you have sex with somebody and then this uh, thing uh, starts uh, following uh, uh, that's the premise huh it no follows spoilers no that's like the that's kind of common knowledge okay yeah about smile no 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 it follows oh, it follows okay. i'm saying All smile right. is similar why smile scared me is because there are demons it's you know demonic but you know that from the from this but what scared me about it is that a lot of people were saying like this is what like someone with schizophrenia might see and feel like so it kind of made mm. me feel like these people were saying like you know, like you deal with a schizophrenic person, they're like, it's right there. That right, and then, right, and then, right. There's nothing there, but they're right. paralyzed with, right. that's what that felt like yeah, to me. It felt realistic. It felt way. like it Authentic. could be real. Right, right. When it's a demon and a fucking, you know, it, 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 at the end of Smile, I was like, all right, this is stupid. Like when it gets to this face, I'm like, that's I, dumb. I don't want to look. The beginning of it, 
Yeah. When it's just like literally, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that it's creepy, because that's what you just dude, see. You're <laughs> a pussy, dude. Dude, you are a pussy. Me, you're crying about quitting drinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all have different types of demons, you yeah, know. It's yes. like a, yeah, yeah. No, I know. How I, much I, longer does this go, dude? <laughs> Isn't this done yet? Yeah, dude. <laughs> thank, thank give us the light. We, we didn't. Do we do plugs? Well, we didn't do plugs. Uh, anyway, did you see the new Nicolas Cage movie? No, you the know what? The bearable weight of massive talent. I wanted to see it. It oh, is it. a grand slam. Really? Laugh out loud. Unbelievable. He's at the top of his game, and so is Pedro Pascal. I watch it two Love times Pedro in Pascal. a row. I, I watch started, it two times I feel one like night. I started, the next they night. hire him because they hire. He goes it's to that rich so guy's good. house. Yeah, I started it. You didn't I, like it? I think I just got turned I was off. Smoking, I don't know. But I, I think it was uh, something. Ab- I don't know. It didn't click with me yet. Really? I, I'll try it again. Okay. My two film recommendations have been solid this year. It's. Uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once. Just watched it two nights ago. One of the best movies I've ever seen in my entire life. What's that one? I gotta finish it still. Everything Everywhere All at Once is incredible. Can can I say something? I I started to watch it twice and both times about midway I stopped watching it. Not like I'm stopping it but like I got got Overwhelmed. This, like it, I kind of my lot. interest got pulled away. It's a lot, but also uh, I think one of the best comedies I've seen this year is Triangle of Sadness. Oh mm. man, I heard that's awesome. I it's, gotta see it. Have you seen it? No. Dude, look up Triangle of Sadness, <laughs> Pimpy. It's incredible. There was a movie uh, called Force Majeure that he did, the same director. We tried to do it in America. It bombed really bad. Um, this thing is so funny and twisted and beautiful and incredible. It's, it's about rich cunts on a yacht at sea and everything goes wrong. Uh, Woody, Woody makes is it a foreign film? No, no, no. It's, it's, oh. it's ours. Um, but that, this Ruben Ostlin, no, this Ruben Ostlin, this guy, he, it, is a, it is a foreign director, but... It's incre- dude. It's incredible. I like my, uh, and and movies I'll- directed by Americans. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Uh, no, I don't. You're wrong. I'm, I'm joking. No, it's not funny. I'm joking. Give credit where credit's due, Joe. I don't like foreigners. I know. Never have. No, yep. but it's incredible. It's about it's about rich it's about rich cunts on a right. yacht and everything goes awry. It's out right now. You could just watch it. Yes, and that beautiful young girl in there. R.I.P. The girl that's laying in that right one. When she died? She she passed away in real life, like right after this Wait, film came out. Wow. Yeah, it was incredible. For what? Uh, I don't remember. Look at it. You can look it up. But that really hot chick in the front. Yeah, she sadly oh my passed God. away. That's this girl, girl? Char- Charlie Dean. Yeah, she died. Yeah, sad. Sadly, what she died from? Wow. Bacterial sepsis. Decade. Oh surgery. no way! Oh my God. Well, can you get that after you get like a staph infection? Is that what it is? Surgery, anything. Yeah. Open, yeah. Jesus oh, Christ, 32, man. She's a well, child. Listen. But I got to tell you, she fucking destroys this. She's so good in this movie. It's it's like, it's, fuck. It'll fuck you up how, yeah, how life good she is. Life is just too yeah. short. You never know. That's why, Joe, I say keep drinking. Dude, keep drinking. Chug it I gotta up. I got to keep drinking. I got to stop fighting with Sal. I got to yeah. get my shit together. <laughs> yeah, dude. I gotta become friends with DJ Premier. There's not enough time. <laughs> There's so much shit to do. Babe, where can people see you, Andrew? Well, uh, Cheeseburger on please Netflix. Please go watch Cheeseburger on Netflix. It's available now as of January 10th. Cheeseburger on Netflix. And then Bobby Lee and I are going to be on tour starting in March. But those dates will be up at badfriendspod.com. Watch Bad Friends. Watch Whiskey Ginger. Love you. Thank you, guys. ChrisDComedy.com. New Orleans, Dallas, Houston. We added Florida. We got Austin, Vancouver. ChrisDComedy.com. All the dates are there. Some shows are sold out. Some aren't. So go check it. Uh, Joe DeRosa info.com uh, for tickets and show links. Oh, residency uh, of my new hour, I Never Promised You a Rose Garden, happening here in New York City at the Crane Theater, uh, January 25th, February 14th, and then there's one in March, one in April. I'm also going on the road to the Midwest uh, and uh, also down south into uh, New Orleans and that area. So just go to my website, get your tickets and everything there, and we'll see you in Hell Podcast also. My solo tour is currently on pause because we're back at the three, four-year hiatus on the Impractical Jokers tour, impracticaljokerslive.com for tickets. The end of this month, we have a warm-up show in Reading, and then we're right into Pittsburgh, Camden, and Boston. It goes all the way to July. Right now, there's about 30, 40 cities in there. We're coming to the Prudential Center in Newark, the UBS Arena in Long Island, and so on and so forth. Look for your city, impracticaljokerslive.com. Don't be a flake, don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed, don't hesitate.